Hey, what's up guys? Nighthawk DBZ here. Welcome back to another 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. Today I'm going to try something a little different here. So, uh, we do got the Tower to Trial. It's from, you know, I guess it started a little bit, a bit ago and not, not like a little bit ago, but you know, a couple days ago, several days ago to be exact probably. And uh, it runs until January 19, 2021. So, I'm going to see how far I can get in this Tower to Trial. This is the first time I'm going to be playing it. Um, so it looks like you got quite a bit of fights here, and you do have some save points in between, I guess, like, first and a certain amount of bosses, so we're gonna see if we can get up to the first save point, which is right up to where Jericho's at, we're gonna see if we can beat it, now there is, um, you know, they show the bosses, you know, you got you, several bosses to beat here, um, your rewards is the stamina recovery potion, which is really good, and also, they have, like, allies attributes, so I'm thinking this is like, um, it says changes pierce rate to 0% and prevents it from increasing. So I have Zeldris here, so I don't think Zeldris might not do too good in this stage. But, um, you know, we're going to try it out, you know, for, you know, for fun. So let's see how far we can get in today's, uh, trial, Tower of Trials. So first fight. Hero placement can be edited again. Continue with this placement. Yes, I do. I want to go with this placement. All right. So we're going to put uh, Lost Name Meliodas. We're going to get Goddess Elizabeth. We're going to get Zeldris. And I got the Red Holy Knight Gopher. Now, I can add in uh, my uh, characters. So I'm going to put Derriere. Okay. Give her... Demon Meliodas. I usually give Zeldris Estorosa and Holy Knight Gother. I usually link him up with King. All right, so I got about 130 CCs. I am gonna eat a dish. I think I'm gonna go with the um. See, Pierce rate won't really be too good, so I think I'm gonna go with the crit damage. I could have probably went with recovery rate, but I think I should be all right with Elizabeth. So let's let's go. Let's see how well we do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it myself. I'm not going to let the game run on auto. So I'm going to take off the ultimates though. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is let the whole, you know, let Meliodas do his thing. And I think I'm going to stun this red guy. Cannot select high. So I can't select a hiding target. So all I can do is really just go after the two side guys. At least with Meliodas' uh, uh, AOE attack, it's pretty good. Alright, so we got the sun one of them, which is fine. I don't think the first few fights are going to be difficult. I think once we get higher up, it's going to be insanely difficult. Alright, um, how do I want to do this? So I want to continue with Meli uh, Meliodas' attacks. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting Zeldra set up as well. Alright, so the big guy does attack, but since he's hiding, which is actually kind of new. Go after him. And then we'll use his goddess Elizabeth's ability. Alright, so he just got a reheal. So now he's not, I don't think he's hiding no more. We almost killed him, though. Alright, ultimate's definitely gonna kill him, so I'm not... Ultimate move's definitely gonna kill him, unless he gets, like, a, a health back. Nah. Nope. Not that time. Alright, so good. We beat it the first fight. Great. Amazing. Perfect. We got some stamina recovery points.
but we are far from done. One fight down now. This one is obviously besides the dragon dinosaur looking guy. You do got those little blue demon bird uh, dudes. Uh, we get water of life in this stage. And this one is the stable recovery skill. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use any sort of type of recovery skills. But I don't. I think with my team right here it shouldn't affect. Like. It shouldn't really affect anybody. It shouldn't even affect Goddess Elizabeth because she doesn't have like the healing abilities. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Pure Strike for this one. I'm gonna eat a Pure Strike. All right, and let's go. So I'm assuming that once I get to a Pacific fight, I'm definitely gonna have to change my team up. All right, so of course he's hiding. All right, hmm. So I think I'm going to continue to do the same plan that I'm doing. I'm going to let Meliodas uh, get his attacks in. I think I'm going to let Zelda just kind of hang in on this one as well. Uh, we did get the first demon out, which is really good. At least the green demons are always easy to take out, especially for my red units. This is kind of the blue demon I gotta watch out for. Alright, so Melly, um, they're actually sealed, actually. That's kind of not good, but. Right. I think we'll do that, and then we'll get that to gold, and then whatever else we get, and the, um, whatever random card it gives us, um, in the next rotation. I mean, at least he's not doing that much damage right now, so that's one good thing. Okay, so... Grab that. we we'll use that. I guess we'll use this ability. And, you know, right now our cards are, like, kind of placing really good. So I don't really have to do too much switching around. Take away his ultimate gauge. At least the barrier works, so that's one good thing. Alright, hmm. Zoltar, Meliodas. And he is, does have his ultimate gauge, so we're gonna drop that down a little bit as well. Ooh, that was some good damage. And that's a kill. Cool. All right, so at least, at least, at least right now it's working. What we got going on here, it's working. I want to see how I want to see how long I can try to continue to use these units for. So if I can use them all the way up to Jericho's save point, then I think we're good. All right, third fight. Who we got? So we got these. Okay, so I remember this Earth Crawler was a pain in the butt in story mode. We are getting gold. Increases damage taken from ultimate moves by a hundred percent. So that's a good attribute for us. It looks like so I'm gonna continue to use the same team and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat a up attack No, you know what? I'm gonna continue to go with pierce rate. So pierce rate is not effective right now All right, let's try this again. Let's try again Let's see if we can beat this stage now, like I said, the, this um, this big, um, you know, Earth Crawler, I definitely had a problem beating him within the campaign. It took me several times to get him down, but but the problem is he is a blue, so I gotta see if I can try to keep him sun for most of the um, the battle would be nice. All right, so let's try to hurry up and take out this green one. So that's one down, two more to go. He's throwing rocks out of Zoldris. Yeah, 
Okay, that did a little bit of damage, not a lot, so we should still be alright. Alright, um... Yeah, we think we're going to continue with Meliodas' attacks. And I'm going to use that right there for Elizabeth. I'm going to try to take that ultimate gauge and hoping that I can take out this little guy. And he apparently gets a full health back. That's not good, actually. Alright, I think we can take him out with what we got right now with these cards. So, I'm thinking about using Elizabeth's... Elizabeth's cards. Then maybe using the both Zelda's card, and that should help us out with the ultimate. Ooh, that was a little bit of damage right there. And he takes the ultimate gauge away. We'll do that. I could swap them and make them a gold card. But I figured Elizabeth was going to kill that guy. That means Zelda can drop the ultimate down twice. Alright, now this is where the fight's going to get a little nuts at. Kind of wish I had um, some good green units. To do that. I might take a lot of damage here, so that's why I'm putting up the barrier. Nah, that was quite a bit of damage. I think the pierce rate went off on that one. I think I'm actually kind of glad I put up that barrier. And I lost Meliodas' ultimate, which I guess it's fine. Alright, I don't think he's going to survive this one. I'd be really surprised if the game gives him, like, full HP again. Nope. That would have really sucked, though, if the game, like, resets his HP and not, like, the smaller minions, dude. All right, so we got 500,000 gold. Not bad. Three stages down. Several more to go. All right, so we got two more fights. We got this fight, and then we got the uh, the save fight, which, like I said, that's going to be our stopping point. So we got these little... We got a silver demon. We got a uh, these... Um, those guys from the tournament. Jig... 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 Yumu, I think I'm saying that's his name right. And Tora. And they have Floor of Death. Receive additional damage equal to 10% of max HP at the end of every turn. This is going to suck. So I'm going to have to take this out. This guy out as quickly as possible. So how, I think I'm going to... Probably might be better to have some good regeneration rate. I might have to actually change up a unit here that could possibly help. I'm actually thinking about taking off, um, Gother, but I can't because that was the hero that I brought. I mean, I could change him up. You know what? Let's try it. Let's see if we can beat it. We do got a recover regeneration rate. I don't know how good it's going to last, but let's try it. The goal is to just try to do a lot of damage. Problem is the middle guy's blue. Right, so we are gonna take a good chunk of damage here, so now how much it says ten percent worth. Okay, I can see the amount of damage. So in other words, we're gonna have to beat this fast. Hopefully they don't like disable our ultimates, because if they don't disable our ultimates, then we should definitely I should really be good here. Man, are we they're okay, okay. Alright, so that's bad. That's bad. He can pure okay, he can definitely stun you, okay. Alright. Okay. So 
set that up for next rotation. Alright, so they actually got the heal back. I think I might lose Zeldris here. Because they really like going after Zeldris. Which I don't think is fair. Then the big guy's gonna attack. Oh yeah, one more hit and then I'm done. There's the purified. Oh, that's right, Goddess Elizabeth's ability. So, all right. Yeah, we'll do that. Let Zelda just get some payback. Okay, so we are losing Zeldris in this fight right here. So this is bad. And funny enough, Zeldris gets his ultimate, right? Unless he attacks Meliodas, I'll be fine if he can attack Meliodas. I wouldn't mind that. Oh, we're actually getting a secondary attack here. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so Zeldris definitely get payback with the ultimate. We use Goddess Elizabeth. And I think we're gonna use a barrier. I think let's use a barrier for protection. We are not doing really any damage right now. Alright, so at least the barrier is keeping us alive. So this should... Okay. It saved us from... Oh, he's getting a lot of attacks. Oh, he stunned Elizabeth, you bastard. Okay. this this is not good we, we just disable his recovery so that's hopefully that helps nope that definitely killed us all right well we lost one unit Yikes, man, he's doing a lot of damage. Oh, yep, there it is, purified. Well, let's hope that we can stun him for the turn. Okay, we can definitely stun him, so that's good. That kind of saved us there, so that means I can definitely finish him off here. Alright, Gother, I don't really need you. Because I got two gold attacks and a heal ability with Elizabeth, so... One more and you're dead, unless he gets an HP recovery right here. Okay, we're good. Because that would have really sucked, though, if he would have came back and like got like all the health that he lost. Alright, so that is the fourth stage, so now we're on the fifth stage. That's good. So, we're making progress. And we do get 70 of these Awakening Medals. Now, before I actually start, let's take a look at Jericho. So, Jericho's the big boss, 120 CC class, combat class. Looks like she has two of the golems with her. Okay, so no recovery skills, that's fine. Jericho's blue, the two demons are green, and uh, red. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use crit damage again. Alright, let's try this out. Let's see how well we do. So obviously she's going to be in the hiding phase. And we can't attack her though, that's the only problem. So 
Now, if this works like those final boss battles, I think it might be a little difficult to, um... to actually kill it. But we'll find out. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to keep the barrier going up because she's definitely going to be... And why does everybody go after Zelda? Just leave him alone. He has done nothing wrong. the green guy. We'll use Elizabeth to start attacking the red guy. Almost got it. You know, I probably should have continued to attack on the green one, but if I could try to get them both out at the same time, then I should be able to do some good damage to uh, Jericho. Man, you guys don't know how to leave Zelda's alone. At least the green one keeps on going after Elizabeth, but the the red one he keeps going after Zelda, and then Jericho comes in with the friggin' okay. Zelda can hit him. Meliodas can finish up the green one because we want to get his um, ultimate down. Oh, yep, figures. Small ones get that uh, little active ability back. Maybe we should have brought Gother in the front lines. I mean, they're not doing too much damage. They're doing about 2,000, but it adds up after a while. That's the problem. Ooh, this is not good. Jericho is definitely... Gonna go after uh, Zelda here. Alright, one's out. Hopefully this kills. Okay, good. That one kills, and then we can drop Jericho's ultimate down with this move right here. Very good. Now, if we can get uh, another Elizabeth's attack, we can stun him. There it is, right there. That's what we needed, and an ultimate. So I believe it's the enemy. No, it's our turn. Okay. All right, so we're gonna stutter. Actually, no, it reset. We're gonna ultimate. Like that, and then stunner. So we're gonna see if we can stunner. I could have probably seen like in the beginning whether if I can stunner or not, but we're gonna see. Cool, we can. All right, cool. very good. Alright, so it's GG's now. Better be GG's. Alright, who... Uh, you know what? There, that's the move I wanted. Zeldris' move to drop her um, ultimate gauge down by one, which is going to give us a little bit of protection. Dude, look at the damage. Like, 729... Like, 729 damage. That is, like, nothing. Right, she has a little bit of HP left, but she's definitely doing damage to us. Alright. Let Meliodas attack. Oh, she got a full HP back. That is not good. That is definitely not good. I did not expect that to happen. She broke the shield in one attack. Yep, don't go from it. And Zeldris is out of here. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I don't change that. Barrier, then we'll stun her. 
35,000, man. And my my Meliodas is up up pretty good on levels. I mean, as far as his equipment level, he's, he's up pretty high. And so is Elizabeth, Goddess Elizabeth. I managed to start getting up some of hers up to max level now. All right, she's stunned for the turn, which is good. Now, this is going to be a Meliodas Assault right here. Hopefully, these three attacks does damage. One more. Come on. Just drop him. Drop her. There we go, baby. Okay. Got a little scared there. Kind of thought she was going to get a, uh, get another chance to recover her HP. That would have really sucked. So, we got seven more Super Awakening coins. Very good. I kind of been saving up on them. Uh, mainly saving them up for the uh, Sariel and Terminal Banner. Because uh, I want to get those guys, like, Super Awakening really good. Okay. So, we are at the save point. Tower of Trials for six. But guys, I think that's going to be it for the video today. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to smash the like button. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And make sure you don't forget to hit that notification bell to always stay notified. I want to upload a new video. Try to upload new videos daily. And um, yeah, so, so far, uh, team's working out pretty good. We had a little bit of uh, difficulties within like the, um, the few fights. I believe it was four and uh, mainly four and four. Four and five were definitely difficult, but we definitely are starting to back up. It looks like everybody's the the next few fights are going to be the same and then a different uh, Holy Knight boss. So, like I said, um, you know that's it. So we'll see how the, the next one is going to go. And other than that, have a good one. Be safe. See you guys on the next one. All right, later.